So, hey y'all, good morning. So, I haven't, like, posted much lately because I've been really busy. I People in my family just tend to get hurt a lot at the same time. So, I, I've been back to work because my the lady I take care of broke her arm, so she needs more help. And then my dad got hurt, so I've been helping him out. He's okay, though. He, he's, he's managing better. So... I'm here to update all about my wrist. So if a lot of people liked my my injuries videos on my leg cast back in October, November-ish. So with this wrist, I um, injured the pinky side of my wrist. And I think the physical therapist said it was T in TFCC tear, but it's... um. The strength and mobility of both my wrists has greatly improved. I can extend both my finger, both my hands, and I can keep my wrists straight. Normally, I have this weird, like, I contract the ulnar side of my wrist and my hand is, like, really sideways. I have, like, an amazing amount of motion that way. So, most of my life, my hands were very crooked in this position until I started doing the therapy. So with the therapy, I have to think of relaxing this side and contracting the thumb side. So, and that is how I can keep my hands straight now. And that is what I'm working on. Keeping them straight, contracting the thumb side, and um, relaxing the pinky side because that is the injured spot. So I don't want to, like, over-contract it. And so I'm... My injured, this is my injured hand. It is like greatly improved with the strength and the mobility and there, I can do like so much more than I could do before. I mean, even before I got injured, my hands weren't that great, but they're, they're like, wow, wow, I have so much more mobility. It's still kind of weird because I still like go into my weird habits of like when I turn a doorknob, I was just like flicking the whole doorknob. You don't have to do that. You just turn it just a little bit. You don't have to like flick your whole wrist turning a doorknob. So it, it's doing better. I have um, two more therapy sessions and then the final eval. And it, the guy is um, trusting me enough to do the exercises at home, play it safe and wear the brace. And I think by the end of September, it should probably be healed. So 12 weeks and knowing when I screwed up my foot, it took me like forever. It took like nine, 10 weeks. So yeah, it's doing really well. So as long as I don't do stupid stuff to it, like last week I was trying to push a lawnmower around. Yeah, that, that kind of screwed it up. So bat, I, I didn't have the brace on or anything. So I just put the brace back on, played it safe. Don't do anything stupid. So, I know if the pain doesn't go away, I should, I could see a specialist, but what's the specialist going to do? He might suggest more immobilization, surgery. We're in the middle of a pandemic. I'm not having surgery. Plus, I work as a caregiver for an elderly lady, and I need to, like, be able to take care of her. So, I really don't want to have surgery. I do not plan on having surgery at all because I don't want to have a big cast up to my elbow because this is this is this part is in charge of rotating your wrist it, and it's also the weight bearing part of your wrist so you would end up with a cast all the way up your elbow and I don't think I can manage like that I'm, not, I'm never going to get anywhere because that would be another 12 weeks of recovery so that would be 24 weeks of not doing anything that's like half a year yeah, that's like half a year, man. I'm not, I'm not doing that. So, basically, right now, I'm just playing it safe. Not doing anything stupid. Don't touch the piano. Don't touch the viola. I can't do any crocheting. I haven't worked on my sewing machine because I can't shove the fabric through the machine. It just hurts to do that right now. Um, yeah. So, that those are my updates. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.